Hi, VR designer Chris here, and today I want to talk about the early development of the Navu, also known as the Behemoth, also known as Medina Station. The LDSS Navu is a generational ship constructed at Tycho Station. Cylindrical in shape, it measures in at over 2 kilometers long and half a kilometer wide. Four Doniger class battleships will fit in her belly and not even touch the walls. This ship is massive. So how did the Expanse TV show design this huge ship? The development of the Navu started with these series of sketches made by Ryan at Northfront. In these sketches we can see the early development of both the Navu and Tycho Station. The relationship between the Navu and Tycho was something the production considered early on as we can see with these early sketches. On design A we can see some notes on the Navu which include small scaffolding, a giant bridge, and a large exo frame. On design B we can see a note about the octagonal frame over the cylindrical ship with lots of fine girders. Over at design C we can see a staging area, a tug moving pre-assembled parts into place, and an arrow that shows the ship moving out of the construction area as sections are completed. We then get these seven sketches A through G all next to the Doniger for scale reference. By looking at these sketches we already know the production had a general idea of what they want the Navu to look like. We have some labels over at design A with the command and control at the nose, four main spokes, shielding with space frame. We also have this measurement of 2 kilometers in length and 1 kilometer in diameter. I think this 1 kilometer in diameter was later revised to be half a kilometer later on. There's also a label saying that the 5 sections are connected permanently. There's also a lift to and from the interior, a lift to the skin meaning the outer hall, and engineering down below. Design B is similar in scale with less sections proposed. I find that design E is really interesting because of the shorter drum and larger tail section. Out of all these designs, do any of these sketches look familiar to you? What about design F? Well the production clearly liked design F because these detailed drawings were made. Here is a close up back view of those detailed drawings. Now wait a second. These designs don't look like the final ship, so what happened? I'm not exactly sure, but after seeing this the production wanted to head in a different direction, which is why this piece of concept art was generated. We then get a colorized version of this piece of concept art. After that we get a series of new concepts of the Navu with a major change to the body and the nose of the ship. We also get this variation of the nose with less spikes. We then get these two pieces of concept art that increase the size and spread of the thrusters. Finally we get this piece of concept art with yet another change to the hull. A bar added to the sides and a change to the panels on the nose of the ship. We can also see some added detail when peeking into the drum of the ship. At this point, we are pretty much at the final design. However, we also do get this edit with a bit more of a dramatic lighting scheme on the ship. Everything you've seen so far was designed for season one. Now let's fast forward to season three where the Navu is getting refitted to become the behemoth. Here we have an image of the refit. Some changes include the angel being removed and replaced with an antenna cluster. PDCs are added, railguns added, missile bays as well. There's also a cannibalized salvage ship, comm laser, drum spin thrusters, docking ring, and towers with PDC looking over the drum. We also get this piece of concept art which is a top view of the ship 
And we also get this detailed version where we can clearly see Behemoth written on the ship. We also get this bottom view as well, and a detailed version of that. Finally, we get this interior cutaway diagram of the behemoth which breaks the ship into two different sections. Blue is for static and red is for the section that rotates. On the sides, we also get various pieces of concept art showing what different parts of the ship look like. The Navu had an interesting development behind the scenes and in the show itself. It is also the largest ship to be covered on my channel to date. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and the channel, please consider checking out my game on Steam called The Indigo Parallel. It's available for both Mac and PC. And thanks for watching.